This is The Daily Habit. Don't hate, embrace the eight. We've got a different inventor on the show today, and he's known for his creativity on and off the board. Action sports pioneer Lonnie Toff is here. Plus, Hal Morris rubs elbows with the famous folk at Hollywood Life's 10th Annual Young Hollywood Awards. And correspondent Renee Renee checks in from the Clash at Claremont. Crank it up, people. Welcome, everyone. It is The Daily Habit. How's it going, Pat Parnell? And I can honestly tell you, uh, I'm very happy today because Lonnie Toft has made his way to The Daily Habit. How's it going? Welcome. I can't tell you how uh, honored. I've been a fan for, uh, well, since I was, I don't know, catamaranning down the street. So thank you for making the time. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Glad to be here. So how's life been? Uh, things uh, good you at know, home? I know yeah. you're probably in and out of the water, skating, doing everything. Yeah, right now I wakeboard, kite surf, stand up paddle. And occasionally skateboard. A little bit of everything. Yeah. Which is, uh, we're going to get into the nuts and bolts. Uh, kind of like a, what turns the wheels inside Lonnie Toft? Uh, interesting guy, and you're going to get to know him. Right now, though, 29 and a half seconds of satisfaction. Here it is. You know, I always try to be a good boy, but sometimes things just turn out bad. I used to play my drums every chance I got. You couldn't tell me. I wouldn't change a thing. There it is. 29 and a half seconds of satisfaction. Shows a little bit of uh, the creativity, the renaissance uh, approach that you've taken from day one. Uh, speaking of day one, I want to go back. Early days as a kid in Ventura. We're going back to the 70s. Don't, don't worry. It's a good thing. Uh, but, like, growing up in the 70s, skating, what was it like for you? Because you and your brother also skated, right? Yeah, my brother was a surfer, musician, skateboarder, and I was a little brother, you know, just going, yeah, this is cool. <laughs> you were into this it? This is fun, yeah. And the 70s, just an irreplaceable, just long hair, skateboarding, surfing, traveling, and the sport was evolving, and the clay wheel to the urethane, and just... And you were part of that explosion. I mean, you yeah. went from that kind of, It was a sport that kind of like... Well, it wasn't even a sport, per se, but where it kind of exploded. You were on the Pepsi team, you know, in the mid-70s, right? Yeah. How, I mean, what was that whole experience? Like, traveling around and doing the demos? Yeah, it was... Uh, Pepsi would sponsor us, and they'd send us all over California. we do uh, demonstrations on a skateboard at all the schools, and we get paid for it. And then I was sponsored by Sim Skateboards and receiving royalties and selling my boards around the world and, you know, pretty much just traveling, skating, having fun, making a living. Yeah, well, they, so. you mentioned the Sims thing because uh, you, you were known really kind of for the, the eight-wheel, but you didn't really ride the eight-wheeler that much. The eight-wheel board, which yeah. is right here, which people, this is kind of a, you've done, this is a remake of that you're doing, Yeah, right? 2006 Bamboo Epoxy eight-wheel okay. board. And you didn't, I mean, you didn't ride it that often, but you definitely got some notoriety from it. But I heard that you got kind of just burned out and bummed out on the industry aspect, and you went down to the beach. Can you tell us about this little bonfire you had? You know, I skateboarded <laughs> professionally for about 10 years and uh, I, got, I had enough so I just like had a big bonfire on the beach burned all my boards and you know yeah. got on with some other sports and got into windsurfing surfing and right. wakeboarding and an interesting little side <clears throat> note how much are the boards the original ones worth on eBay now? oh my Can god it, I don't want to make it <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know 500 thousand bucks for an old board you know yeah it's and interesting classic interesting we just had uh the we had uh, the daggers on the show we had hosoy radigy duncan and they actually had a little uh, some kind words to say about lonnie toft let's take a look at the clip Ooh. lonnie toft oh hey wheeler yeah pro or con it's good i'd say go yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Was, uh, legend, talk legend to somebody skateboard. who knows him recently we're going to get together and skate so it'll okay. be interesting good to see yeah, lonnie amazing. toft i'm uh, good i, I want to see you and hosoy <laughs> make some turns together that's very cool right yeah yeah does he's it, still charging it does it surprise you how many uh kids young and old you know are familiar with uh kind of your contribution to skating and all the other sports yeah, the, the whole the new generation's a whole different style. The rails and the stairs, and you know, it's the surf style's not quite there, you know. But uh, there's a few people that remember me, and 
from magazines and whatever. You yeah, know? I mean, you were uh, in during Skateboarder Magazine, pre-Action Now Magazine. I mean, you watched it go through so many cycles, right? You've seen a lot of rises and falls oh, of yeah. skateboarding. Yeah, I've seen the skate parks develop, and I've seen them bury them, and just thought the sport was over, and then all of it came back, came back bigger than it ever was. You know? Yeah, it's uh, skateboarding's like the phoenix. So you can't, you can't kill it. It's, yeah, uh, it's alive it's forever. Here. No, it's just. And I should point out, at the same time you were doing, uh, you were snowboarding back in the '70s and wakeboarding at the time. You were into these things from the get-go, right? Early on. Yeah, I was snowboarding in 1978 and Bob Weber introduced a plastic deck that we experimented with and put bindings on and, you know, we were riding Mammoth and Mountain High and, you know, when all you saw was a skier on the slopes. Wow. Yeah. And uh, I think you were, later in the show, you're going to show us one of those boards. You yeah. guys are going to trip out. This is like uh, way, way behind the scenes, yeah. like the actual board. It's like... Uh, 30 we, years ago. We yeah. love it. All right. Yeah. Lo more coming up with Lonnie Toft. You're watching The Daily Habit here on Fuel TV. Presented by Snickers here with Lonnie Toft and uh, Lonnie Toft video pick. And uh, I don't know. I'm feeling the Lazarium, the fog machine, the laser beams. First time I think Peak Floyd's ever been on the show. Well, you know, Dark Side of the Moon, that was a classic album, and here we are again, 2008. Bringing back memories. I think it's still a band that people, uh, you know, write on their peachy folders or their, you know, their, you know, their school books, <laughs> for sure. Uh, can I ask you, I don't think we've covered this question, uh, Snickers, regular, frozen? How do you have it up in Ventura? Yeah, frozen, for sure. Nice. Yeah. Sea Street Lasts style. longer. Yes, for sure. <laughs> um, right now, we're going to check in. Uh, recently, we sent in our resident school teacher, by day correspondent by night, Hal Morris, to Hollywood Life's 10th Annual Young Hollywood Awards to see if breaking into showbiz is a good idea for his students. I think you can see where this is going. Welcome back everyone to The Daily Habit. Here with Tiki Soul team writer Lonnie Toft. If you were paying attention earlier, you would know uh, Mammoth 1978. Uh, wow, crazy because we're going back that far. But you actually brought a photo of the day, right? Can we get a shot of this? This is insane. If you look closely, there you are getting there. Who's this back here? That's Willie Winkles from Canada. I love it. Yeah, hey, we're the only two snowboarders on the mountain 30 years ago. Chair 23 is not even <clears throat> up there then. It's just, it's crazy. And to think, I snowboarded the first day they had snowboarding on Mammoth in 89, but how long, think about how long that, uh, you know, how long ago that was. Yeah, that's 30 which, years ago. Which 30 years ago, so you're looking at a snowboard that is 30 years old, right? Yeah. What, how did you even come up with this? Bob Weber yeah. introduced the plastic shell and after riding it, it had too much flex. I put a snow ski between the board which and the skateboard deck. One of your signature decks, right? Yeah, yeah. Put it and then we use. <laughs> used to have bungee cord bindings on it, and the board's 30 years old, but the basic concept is, you know, this is one of the first snowboards right here. I love it. And Tom Sims took that photo, and that was like, Way pre, uh, like, contest Soda Springs, all that. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. So, yeah, there were no snowboard contests. You were just it starting to just... test the possibilities of what you could do on a snowboard. Yeah, I was one of the pioneers of the sport, and, uh, yeah, we were experimenting, and, you know. Are you surprised to see how far now that's, like, uh, tons of contests, Olympics oh, it's now? it's unbelievable. The right. new generation and just everything that's going on is just incredible, yeah. yeah. And speaking of all things contest, a uh, really cool event uh, for a great uh, charity took place at the Clash at Claremont, uh, Grind for Life, and uh, our own Renee Renee went there to check it out. Here it is.